Now let's take our next question that is question number 13. The question you see belongs to chapter dual nature of radiation. In here an electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 10,000 volt. Its de Broglie wavelength is nearly. We have to find among the four options. It is a very simple formula based question. What would be the formula for this? Yes, lambda would be equal to 12.27 divided by root of potential Armstrong. Right. And what is the potential given? It is 10,000. So, lambda would be 12.27 divided by under root of 10 to the power 4 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Right. Now, when you see the solution, you will find answer as 12.27 into 10 to the power minus 12 meters. Let's see which is the best suited option here. Among the four options, yes, option number 2 is the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 14. Now the question you see belongs to thermal properties of matter. Here the copper rod of 88 cm and aluminium rod of unknown length have their increase in length independent of increase in temperature. The length of the aluminium rod is. Certainly this combination is such that the change in length is adjusted by the other counterpart and this can happen only when this condition is satisfied. What would be the condition? Yes, delta L of copper should be equal to delta L of aluminium. And what is the formula for delta L? It is alpha copper. Length of copper should be equal to alpha of aluminium into length of aluminium. Right. Now, what is the value of alpha of copper? It is given as 1.7 into 10 to power minus 5. What is the length of copper? 88 centimeters. Now, for alpha of aluminium, it is given as 2.2 into 10 to power minus 5 into length of aluminium right so when you solve this you will get length of aluminium equal to 68 centimeter let's see which is the best suited option here yes among the four options option number four is the right answer to this question now let's move on to our next question the question you see belongs to chapter ray optics as per the question pick the wrong answer in context with a rainbow First option says when the light rays undergo two internal reflections in a water drop, a secondary rainbow is formed. It is correct. Second, the order of color is reversed in the secondary rainbow. Yes, it is also correct. Third, an observer can see a rainbow when his front is towards the sun. This is the incorrect statement, friends. A person cannot see a rainbow when sun is in front of him. So, answer to this question would be option number three. I hope you have understood the question. Now let's move on to the next question.